Now, I caught up with Squirrel's John Bolton earlier in the week to look at how they can help you with your mortgage needs. Joining us now in the Harvey Norman Lounge is John Bolton from Squirrel. My good mate, welcome back to the cafe, John. How G'day are you? Mike. Good mate. You no, know, good luck. Over the past couple of weeks, we've talked about how Squirrel can help out with peer to peer lending and peer to peer investing. Yeah. So you do offer other services as well. What are they? Yeah, look, um, I guess our main business is mortgages. Right. So Okay, and I've we'll... seen you on News Hub News talking about mortgages as well, so you do know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mortgages and insurances. Yeah, and insurance. I mean, that's an, a natural part of um, helping people buy property, right? Right. Okay, so look, before we find out a bit more about that, I'm curious, how did Squirrel come about? Oh, look, I was a GM at a bank, and I guess just got tired of the same old, same old, really wanted to make a difference, so GFC hit. Yes. And, um, and we launched Squirrel, and... Uh, a healthy dose of naivety, really, because the first couple of years were pretty tough. <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you think makes it work? I mean, is it the adaptation of technology or is it your one-on-one -on -one sort of service that you provide, treating customers as customers and not numbers? Yeah, yeah, yeah look, treating customers personally. Um, I, I, I guess, you know, our, our vision when we launched the business was that it was really no one out there looking after buyers for right. that whole house buying process. You know, real estate agents are working for vendors, banks uh, have their own self-interest, so, so we felt there was an opportunity to get out there and do something a bit different. Okay, so you guys obviously specialise in mortgages, yeah. so what is it that Squirrel do a little bit differently? Well look, the guys are paid salaries, so that's, that's a big difference, you know, they're not paid commission, and right. what, it, what it means is that they've really got their customers' you know, needs at heart, they're always doing what's right for, for the client. Okay, and what kind of insurance can you offer? Oh, look, everything. We do house car contents, life insurance, uh, medical income protection. It's, oh, really? Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. the, whole, the whole gambit. Might have to come back to you on that <laughs> one. Okay, so, so are you guys independent? Because, you know, what happens with insurances now is that you take out an insurance policy, then you find out that it's actually owned by, you know, another yeah. one that you perhaps yeah. were trying to avoid, um, yeah. Yeah, that you weren't happy with. Uh, so are you guys independent? Yeah, look, we are, we are independent. And, and you know, we, we deal with all of the providers, both in terms of insurances and mortgages. And I, I keep coming back to this key point that the guys are paid salaries. Right. And they're paid salaries so that they always put their client first. Right. And that's a great ethos, isn't it? It's about sort of giving more and taking less. Whereabouts did that come from? Oh, look, it's just the cultural value of the business. So right. it's, it's all about putting people ahead of profit. And, uh, and, and the business is built up that way right since the GFC. And obviously, you know, you've come from a banking background. Yeah. How have you applied that ethos to your team now and made it work for Squirrel? Yeah, well, look, it's going, it's going well. So we write about a billion dollars of mortgages a year. OK, um, wow. So, so, yep. so, so it's, it's worked really yep. well. It's <laughs> grown quite large now. Not to say that there weren't some hard years at the start, um, yeah, look, I, I, it's just the way that the guys operate. Right. You know, um, they really put their clients first. They work, they work damn hard, um, and they're building a great business. Now, you know, taking out a mortgage, I guess, is a very scary process for a lot of people, particularly yeah. if they've yeah, never it done it before. Um, what advice would you give to people that are watching right now, apart from, of course, getting in touch with you guys <laughs> to help you through that process? But just off the top of your head, what, what, what advice would you give? Oh, look, at the moment, with interest rates as low as they are, I think um, you know, people just need to be conscious of what they can afford. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's all this talk about interest rates going up, and they'll go up, but no one needs to panic. They're certainly not going to go up much. Right. Um, but you know, it is a really good opportunity to sort of try and get on top of your debt. If you are doing a calculation and you work out that you're paying just as much rent as what you could to service, say, a $600,000 mortgage, is it time to perhaps look at owning your own home if you've got the deposit? Yeah, totally. We have that conversation all the time. And the, the, the reality is there's a lot more to home ownership, right? You can't get kicked out. You know, one of the experiences a lot of people have that are renting is that you know, every two or three years, the landlord decides to sell the house. You know, and then you've got to go find another one. Right, so right. you don't get kicked out. You get to paint the rooms. You get to do some decoration. You get to clean the mould off the roof. <laughs> nice. You yeah. know? Change the curtains. Change the curtains. <laughs> OK, nice. I can know that's fantastic. Fantastic advice and a fantastic service as well. Yeah. Honestly, I use Squirrel myself and I recommend them. Thanks very much, John. And we look forward to catching up with you again next week. And if you're interested in finding out more about how Squirrel can help you with a mortgage or insurance, just head along to their website, squirrel.co.nz. Great work, Mike, and good bloke, John.